to live truly surrendered lives many of you have given god everything except your finances god can touch your heart touch your praise and worship touch everything that's fine but once he comes near your wallet comes near your bank you tell him go away you don't know anything about finances i was trained and he says okay that's fine let me tell you anything you drive god from you automatically invited satan into it anything you drive god from your family and say god when you were in church i will give you your own place but now at home satan says thank you i've been looking for an opportunity to come the absence of god is automatically the presence of evil there are a few times in the bible where satan was invited he's a master at budging into lives and destinies are we together surrender is a very powerful secret powerful kingdom secret now let's hurry up the second spiritual law we'll start from there now i may not have the time to do all the teachings because i've taught some of them there are just a few things that i want to achieve and then we'll hopefully have the time to pray please open up your heart to learn i beseech you in the name of jesus christ and let me tell you this i, I don't mean to insult your pedigree but i i submit to you by the privilege of god's mercy that if you pay attention to the things that i teach you week in week out i give you a guarantee by the integrity of god your life will be nothing short of a sign and a wonder you may not look no 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 don't say amen it's a commitment i'm it's a burden a responsibility that you have to amen for the grace yes you have it but you must be committed to listen hallelujah the truths that i share with you number one they are not my ideas an invention of my mind that will be evil and wicked number two they are not vain babblings and philosophies of men believe me the truths that i share with you number one they are scriptural number two they are time-tested principles from scripture and in the life of uncommon mentors and successful people across the globe you can rest in the fact that the spiritual menu you are receiving is not that which will destroy you but it is up to you to open up your heart to receive holistically don't just cherry pick what you think is relevant you see your own assignment is not to tamper with the equation trust the one who has led me to prepare that spiritual meal and take it holistically most believers sadly especially those who do not yet have results or notable results are usually the ones who tamper with the equations they are given are we together yes so your heart must be open we are not the first to succeed we are not the first to rise we are not the first to intend to do something that brings glory to the name of the lord many have gone before us there are still others before us and the bible says to follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise law number two the law of mental transformation let's hurry up now i'll just touch on them very briefly and then we'll pray whoever told you that your mind does not have a role to play as far as gaining mastery is concerned i shared with you my own experience that probably based on my background and my the level of spiritual exposures at that time we were not really taught when i began with god the emphasis was the health of your spirit man and i think it should be so in that order are we together when you begin your spiritual pursuit the emphasis should be the health of your spirit man not just philosophies and laws in fact encounters we started with encounters our press towards god our need for the holy spirit and that remains a viable formula till today anybody i want to introduce to spiritual things i'm not going to start teaching them about money fame no no no, no. in that order you have to start with god remember the formula i taught us here in the beginning god it always starts with god not principles encounters first but then when we got to a point where we needed to add other facets to it i didn't have that opportunity but i bless god for the privilege 
of men like dr miles munro when i began to study their material and study the material of other people i found out that my mental development and the quality of my thinking and my mindset had everything to do with the overall journey to an excelling life unlike the narrative we had been given at that time that if you were doing well spiritually don't worry about what happens in your mind the holy ghost will magically correct everything as you go and there are still people who believe that fallacy till today that just because you are pressing into god spiritually it means automatically your mind will find a way of transforming itself now that's not accurate even if it's a thought that comes from well-intentioned people you have a responsibility to work with god and understand that your mental construct has everything to do with the kind and the quality of life that you live i think it was um bill johnson who wrote a very powerful book many years ago the supernatural power of a transformed mind and it's a book that is worth reading even till today hallelujah proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7 the bible tells us that as a man thinketh in his heart interchange for mine he said so is he i spend a lot of time dealing when 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 i have the privilege of mentoring people or talking to them my primary focus is helping and guiding their spiritual lives but when we're able to achieve that the next port of call becomes to invest time and energy and quality information in reconstructing their belief systems i've taught you in this house that most of us derive our thinking and our mindsets from culture primarily the cultural experiences that we've had are shapers of our understanding the way we view life a product of culture number two our experiences past and present we've experienced all kinds of things especially negative things and they can build destructive memories are we con are, are we together and those destructive memories can affect us when god is saying this your mindset in partnership with your history is telling you this cannot happen in your life we build our mindsets from our associations our associations friends relatives the implication of friendship is that subconsciously when you bring people um close to your life what you are saying is that you are submitting yourself to their own ideologies too are we together i've taught you that if there are five wise people in your life you didn't count well there are actually six you being the sixth and respectfully speaking if there are five foolish people in your life you also didn't count well there are actually how many if there are five prosperous people in your life your closest circle of friends there are six prosperous people if there are five defeated mediocres flattering themselves competing with one another prepared or not you must know that you are also part of that competition he that walks with the wise the bible says shall be wise himself he says but the companion of fools shall be destroyed so we derive our mindsets medical science teaches us that children at birth or humans are programmed in two ways number one is genetic programming as it comes from their parents but the second and more important programming is called environmental programming are we together when man fell the first question the lord asked him when he said where are you he said i heard your voice but i hid because i was naked next question who told you you have submitted your ears and your influence to another entity 